Welcome back to Ramp Safety Course, Understanding Safety in Ground Handling Operations on Aircraft Stands. In this lecture, we are going to discuss a pushback operation accident to learn from it lessons related to ramp safety. On 13 January 2008 at San Francisco International Airport, a Boeing 757 of United Airlines was being pushed back from the ramp at about 7.30 p.m. in the evening when its tail collided with the tail of a Bombardier CL-600 of a SkyWest Incorporation that was also recently pushed back from an adjacent aircraft stand. Bombardier had 55 passengers on board and two flight attendants. However, none of the people on board suffered any injuries. But aircraft's vertical stabilizer, rudder, and elevator sustained substantial damages. On the other hand, the Boeing 757 had no passengers, but it also suffered damages to rudder and elevator. The accident was investigated by National Transportation Safety Board of USA to ascertain what led to the accident. And we are going to study the accident using the same report. Boeing 752 was positioned at gate number 80, while Bombardier was positioned at gate number 79 at San Francisco International Airport. The ground controller gave go-ahead to Boeing 757 for pushback on the taxiway and 41 seconds later gave go-ahead to Bombardier as well for the pushback. Since the taxiway was closer to the Bombardier, therefore it was able to complete its pushback before Boeing 757 and its ground crew was disconnecting the pushback tractor from the aircraft. At this time, the pushback tractor driver of Bombardier alerted the Bombardier pilot of Boeing 757's pushback taking place on the adjacent aircraft stand. Bombardier's pilot checked it but could not confirm if the clearance was not enough. Therefore, he asked the first officer to check that the clearance is safe. First officer replied that if Boeing 757 stops, it would not be an issue. By this time, both pilot and the first officer saw their ground crew running towards the Boeing 757 but it was too late. The tail of Boeing 757 collided with the tail of Bombardier, causing substantial damage to both of the aircrafts. Investigators attributed the reason behind the incident to be that Boeing 757 pushback tractor driver failed to ensure safe separation between the two aircrafts. Causal to the accident was the fact that the controller had not informed both of the aircraft crews that a simultaneous pushback is taking place. Due to nighttime operation and low visibility, it was realized too late. If both aircraft teams knew about a simultaneous pushback, they could have observed caution. Contributory to the accident was the fact that Boeing 757 pushback was performed without wing walkers and tail walker. Evidently, if wing walkers and tail walker had been called, they would have informed the pushback driver to stop because there was risk of collision. The main lessons that we learn from this accidents are pushback operation is a sensitive operation and if proper safety precautions are not observed it could result in a serious accident as we just studied secondly from safety and operational point of view the importance of wing walkers 
and tail walkers is highlighted by the accident. Just like we had discussed that pushback tractor driver and headset man cannot have accurate sense of distances of aircraft wing tips and tail due to which wing walkers and tail walker must be called. The accident could have been averted if pushback tractor driver was timely alerted of the problem. Finally, importance of proper communication between ramp agents and control tower is also highlighted by the accident. Had the teams known about a simultaneous pushback, they might have observed caution. For all such operations like pushback, engine startup, and towing, there must be proper coordination between all the stakeholders. This was it for our discussion of the accident. See you in the next lecture.